Hi, welcome to Computer Architecture and Computer System Lab. Uh, I will go through the boot up process of a per, uh, personal computer um, and I will show you what are the components that require a computer to boot properly. Okay, and what will happen if uh, a component is missing in a computer. Okay, so let's begin. Now this is the personal computer that you have in your computer lab. And I'm going to turn it around so that you can see the back of the computer. Okay, now uh, the big thing at the top is the power supply. The power supply obviously supplies power to the computer. Okay, if you want to know what it looks like, then I will probably give you a good look. I've taken this out from uh, another PC. Okay, as you can see, there are some differences in the power supply. Okay, this power supply will only supply power to the computer. And this one will not only supply power to the computer, but it will also supply power to the monitor. Okay? These are the older type of um, power supplies. Um, to save uh, electrical outlets in a company, imagine you only have one uh, power outlet, then you, you may require to have two power outlets for monitor and PC. So they, they uh, designed this power supply. Okay, this is an older, older model. And so let's do, take a look at the other connectors. You have the, the mic, uh, microphone speaker. Okay, these are the uh, these are standard. And this is the uh, RJ45 connection, which is for the network cable that connects to your router or your switch. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's connected. Then you have a parallel port. Parallel port is for mostly for printers, okay, and scanners. And these are uh, legacy type of connectors. This is a very familiar type to you. This is a USB port. Okay, we fortunately have two USB ports here. And the bottom one, we have serial, two serial cables, uh, two serial connections. Um, this is the type of the serial connector that you will be seeing. Okay, and this this will go goes into the uh, the female connection. This is the female connection. This is the male connection on the computer, you just need to plug it in to the right direction. And this is used for console port. Right? It will connect to the routers as well to control the iOS of a particular router. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You can also see these, uh, if you go to Kopitiam or whatever, then uh, they will have a point of sale system and you have a computer uh, connected to the console cable that they use the older connection type. And you can also see the uh, the keyboard and mouse connectors. These are PS2, and this is of course the monitor. Okay, this is uh, one of the things you need to check before you boot up a computer.